Hello friends, a very happy morning to all of you. I welcome you all to this YouTube channel. Friends, in a previous video, I covered some aspects of cluster innovation center, which included what is CIC, what are its objectives, what type of programs does it offer, and the speciality of CIC. Still, all aspects of cluster innovation center are not covered. So, in this video, which is the extension of the first video of cluster innovation center introduction, I'll discuss the other important aspects of cluster innovation center. Outline is as follows: understanding of cluster innovation center through pedagogical lenses, program structure to achieve desired results or objectives faculty members to achieve the desired objectives of CIC, infrastructure and labs, amenities, career after CIC, scope in government and private sector, innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem, and alumni and placements. Before I start this video, if you have not watched the first part of Cluster Innovation Center introduction, I would strongly recommend that you watch the first part to have a better understanding of Cluster Innovation Center. The link to the first part of Cluster Innovation Center is in the description of this video. Friends, we have discussed in the previous video that Cluster Innovation Center offers the following advantages. Innovative programs and courses to empower students with present day and future skills. And hence, their creativity potential or creative potential to take up real world problems and solve them with the knowledge and skills learned in the classroom. But the question arises of how it is done. To understand it, let's take one example. I'll read one now one of the problem statement and what this problem statement addresses. Here I start. The emergence of social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Telegram and Instagram have empowered the common man to share information instantly with the masses by overcoming their physical, cultural, linguistic and political boundaries. This information empowerment of common public also poses serious challenges in the form of fake news and misinformation which is misleading well-crafted news reaching to the masses. Access to such information manipulates the masses, their understanding, perception and responses. The project attempts to quantify the public information discourse at present through a well-crafted quantitative experiment to get deep insights into the way news consumption takes place. It tries to understand the role of social media platforms, news, web portals, and platforms on information circulation and common men's ability to identify fake news and criteria of identification. Impact on different sections of society, their habit of news reading or news consumption, ability to predict fake news and bias news. It addresses the following question specifically, questions specifically. Do few people have a basic understanding of fake news? How reliable are digital media and print media according to the people? Have they tried to identify and mitigate the spread of fake news? How do they perceive fake news and counter it? The problem statement ends. This type of study and experiment is designed under the supervision of faculty members. Student, students also come up with interesting problems and formulate them as subject specific programs under faculty supervision and leadership. After successful project completion, the outcome, came, uh, outcome comes to be in scientific or technical project report, research paper, policy paper, patent or startups depending on the research program and its respective outcomes. Now I'll discuss about the program's structure to achieve desired objective. No program can promote problem solving and innovation if the program structure is rigid and does not include the component of hands-on work and interface to society and industry. 
programs running at cluster energy center have an innovation innovation conducive structure and arrangement of courses to encourage problem solving attitude experimentation skill oriented education and linkages to the real world problem and their solution in addition to innovative teaching methods and freedom of evaluation there are three important and unique aspects of programs running at cluster innovation center the project oriented teaching for practical work in the classroom semester long projects and internships in each course faculty members encourage the students to do project on real world problems related to the syllabus of the particular subject the students solve problems and conduct experiments learn skills on hands on projects and model implementations linked to the curriculum these activities are performed in classroom and labs assessment at each stage is designed in a manner to incentivize innovation by encouraging students to carry out the new creative application of the theoretical knowledge acquired either through a project or through a laboratory activity with prototype in engineering kitchen in semester long projects friends programs have dedicated long term societal and real world problem solving papers in which students selected students select problems and projects according to their interest and future scope mainly these projects are floated by faculty members but students can get, can also come up with their ideas and work under the domain specific faculty members students work in groups or individually as per the project requirements student works extensively on projects the whole semester under the mentorship of the particular faculty member this project work may be extensive research oriented work skill development activity entrepreneurship activity etc with com- concrete and measurable outcomes projects are evaluated through poster presentations and oral presentations in a professional manner giving students a glimpse of knowledge creation ecosystem and industry and higher education research ecosystem examples of semester long projects are displayed on the screen internships students also have dedicated slots to do internship in program structures and they are evaluated and included as marks components this gives students more connection and open opens their interface to the relevant industry for better future outcomes of some of the semester long projects have been published in reputed peer reviewed scopus index journals conferences published by springer ipcc or elsewhere let's come to the next point faculty to achieve desired objectives the actual execution of concepts and philosophy needs functional components including human resources and infrastructure to make sure that the vision is achieved cluster innovation center has faculty members from diverse disciplines to provide in depth knowledge skills and mentorship from several aspects for example cluster innovation center has faculty members from information technology mathematics physics biology electronics environment and education faculty members in it specializes in artificial intelligence machine learning digital governance intelligent information systems and computational social systems cluster innovation center also has faculty members from humanities and social sciences and particularly from historical tourism psychology journalism hindi literature and community CIC also employs faculty members as per the needs in management economics and other subjects a problem may have several as- aspects and it needs investigation from each aspect such a setting of faculty members helps in achieving objectives in an interdisciplinary center CIC truly confirms its vision summarized as evolving senses and dissolving boundaries Let's discuss the infrastructure and lab-related information. 
to achieve its vision through its aid, CIC needs resources in terms of physical infrastructure and land. Cluster Innovation Center is placed in one of the most attractive buildings of University of Delhi, which is the University Stadium, on 1st, 2nd and 3rd floors. CIC has a state of art and ICT enabled classrooms sufficient for good quality teaching and learning environment. Let's discuss the amenities. Cluster Innovation Center is one of the units or you can say the Department of University of Delhi. It has access to common facilities of university such as hostels, medical facilities, the university computer center, center placement cell, library, CIC library, center reference library and central science library. In hostels, students who want who want to reside in hostels can apply for hostel and they are allocated as per the merit and availability of the seats which can be understood by the website of hostels and University of Delhi. There are several hostels, some of them are in North Campus, some are in South Campus. The list of the hostels is displayed on the screen. For medical facilities, CIC students can access the facility of University Health Center in case of any needs, details are available on university websites. Delhi University Computer Center DUCC provides several types of useful and important services to all members of University of Delhi. Students can access the website and see the services and facilities available to students. Some of the main facilities are Wi-Fi access, online website hosting, institutional email ID and high performance computing facility. University also has central placement cell. CIC does not have its own placement cell. Student access the main central placement cell for placement and search the job of campus. Main endeavor of CPC central placement cell of University of Delhi is to get student placed in reputed multinational governments, organizations, NGOs, and private sector. Central placement cell also conducts seminars and workshops to enable students of University of Delhi to become successful professionals. Let's come to the library. CIC students can have access to three libraries. CIC library, Central Science Library, Central Reference Library of University of Delhi. Student will take mem membership of Central Science Library and Central Reference Library as per their requirements. They, that is available on their websites. Now we come to the most important topic for students and parents as they are very much concerned about that. Career after CIC. I have divided this topic into three subheadings. Scope of scope after CIC in government and private sector. Innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem. Our alumni and placements they have achieved. After graduating from CIC student can go for government services examinations such as UPSC, SSC, bank examinations and other job, government job examinations. Students have successfully cleared government exams and are working and progressing in government sector. CIC does not have its own placement cell as more focus is on innovation and entrepreneurship. Although students can use the option of central placement cell of Delhi University. Students are encouraged to do startups and follow entrepreneurship option as the vision is to make them job givers, not seekers. Several startups have been founded by students of Cluster Innovation Center as displayed on the image. Several students have gone for higher education in reputed high, higher education institutions in India and abroad. A few of them are IITs, IIMs, JNU, DU and other central universities and in foreign universities, Oxford, Carnegie Mellon University, Columbia, etc. The programs have immense potential and provide freedom to explore the world and interest of students, which opens new horizons for students. Students have also taken off-campus placements option and have been working on several 
in several reputed multinational companies at good positions and progressing rapidly due to the problem solving ability and skills learned at Cluster Innovation Center and their efforts. This sums up our Cluster Innovation Center related discussion. Program related in specific information will be discussed in coming videos. In case you want to know more specific things about programs or courses at other academic institutions, colleges of University of Delhi, you can write in the comment box and give your feedback. You can also ask questions related to career counseling and future prospects. You can also follow me on social media handles displayed on my screen and share your questions and feedback. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and press the bell icon for more informative videos and more informative videos about education, career and mentorship. Like these videos and share them with your friends and in your social circle. Namaskar. Happy learning.